Hey, what's up, broskies? So today we got something pretty amazing for you guys. So we're gonna be installing a rack and pinion system. And yeah, you heard me right, rack and pinion. So big shout out to Staff Fab for sponsoring me uh, with this kit. So let me show you guys exactly what this key provides you with and then things that you would have to get on your own. Okay, so here we have the steering column that I took from the junkyard in the other video. If you guys want to go down in the other videos that I've uploaded, you'll see when I went to the junkyard to get this. And I also got the plate from the firewall. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to use it, but we're going to give it a, tr a shot. So he provides you with this bearing for the steering column that, that goes at the firewall. He will also provide you with, the, with this custom shaft that will connect your 92 uh, steering column with a Mustang Rack and Pinion. Next, he will supply you with the Heim joints. He will supply you the cross member that is bolts on for those of you that are not too low. Uh, as for me, this is not bolts on because I scraped the crap out of this. So the bolts are no longer there. Uh, so this is something you would have to get on your own. This is a 1976 uh, Mustang II Rack and Pinion. And it has offset bushings. Uh, reason being is there's two different Rack and Pinions for the Mustangs. You either have a 16 inch mounting location or you have a 16 and a half mounting location. So with this kit, you need 16 inch. Uh, fortunately for me, I did not find a 16 inch Rack and Pinion and uh so what you could do is buy the 15 and a half and then just purchase the offset bushings and it should work exactly the same yeah all right so now that i showed you what you would need uh it's up to you honestly if you want to get a rack and pinion uh that's power or manual for me i want power because i'll be drifting the truck I have a 2013 uh, Volvo S40 electric hydraulic power, power steering pump. Uh, they roughly go for like 150. I got this super, super, super cheap uh, on eBay. I just got lucky. Uh, I already converted the high power side to 6 a.m. So that's good. This is a uh, 6 a.m uh size so i don't really have to worry about that all i gotta do is just attach the hose and put the worm clamp but this is for a later video this is for i don't know two or three videos ahead of time because i i'm still waiting on parts for it so for now we're just gonna install the rack this should be fairly easier to turn with just a manual rack but how i said i'm doing power steering so i need the power steering uh rack and pinion so let's get to it and start dragging up the truck. Okay, so step one is to measure my current uh, steering length. So measure from half of the outer tie rod to the other outer tie rod. Uh, measure the distance and then transfer that data to the rack and pinion. So I could know how much of the ends to cut off and that should be it. Uh, so yeah, let me start measuring. Okay, so from middle of the tie rod to the other middle of the tie rod, it's 46 inches. So now we gotta transfer that data to the rack and pinion and see where to cut. Okay, so I have 49 inches from there to there. So I'll be cutting roughly two inches on each side. So total length of this should be uh, 45 
when I'm done with it. <laughs> 